Hi there everybody, this is Steve again and I'm here for another shave. Today is Wednesday and that makes it hump day! Hump day! Uh, beverage for today's shave or shaverage is uh, from Straight to Ale Brewing, another serving of hell or rye water. And uh, this is a wonderful beer. It is a a rye pale ale and uh, straight to ale brewing right there made proudly brewed and packaged by straight to ale Huntsville Alabama southern brewed southern born and southern brewed so there you go straight to ale brewing anyway rye pale ale there it is so, salute. That was what was left in the can. Here is the uh, the beautiful golden. Hmm. All right. Now I'll put the shade. Now with the shave today, today's razor is the Carl Monk House. It says it right there on the scales. It is a 6 8 round point. And uh, there you can see the uh, stamp. Carl Monk House. Solingen, Karl Monkhaus, Solingen, made in Germany. And uh, there's the uh, the nice scale work. This is the uh, original. It is, they are just a little bit warped, but it doesn't affect the razor whatsoever. So, that's today's razor. Today's soap. Today's soap is fine platinum. This is the fine uh, accoutrements shaving soap, and I'll be using, I've got it preloaded there, my fine 20 millimeter Super Badger brush, and it is a good brush. And there's a good lather on it, or a good, good load, and we're going to face lather here. This is my first time using the, uh, the fine platinum soap. I did use the American Barber flavored soap a couple of weeks ago. Back when I got this stuff. And, uh, So I hope everyone's doing well, having good shaves, having good days at work. Having a good week all together. Hoping you finish the week off right. Get, get to have a relaxing weekend. Labor Day weekend. So you get a long weekend. Some of you maybe take Friday off. Get an extra day there. I know a lot of people around here do that. Government people. All right, here we go with the, uh, the Carl Monk House.
My last shave was on Sunday. So this is a full three days row. And uh, Sunday, I got that cut right there. And I'm here to tell you, I might have played it off as not much on the video last week or Sunday, but that's the worst one ever. That's the worst. That, I, that right there, what happens when you don't pull your skin tight, you get one of those. And that's bad. I went back and was watching the video and I was doing one of these jobs here without pulling my skin. And I, what I did was my skin folded up like that right there and I whacked off a big old chunk of it with a very sharp razor. So, today's my mom's birthday. She doesn't watch my videos, but happy birthday, mom. All right, first pass over done.
I missed that whole spot right there under my neck. Why didn't y'all tell me I missed that spot? I wasn't even paying attention. Got shit on my mind, I guess. Maybe I should drink some more. I think I shall. Anyway, yeah, I missed all of that right there. Why'd you let me do that? Here we go. We'll get it on this path. I'll say that the uh, fly, the fly, fine uh, soaps are very, very nice. I like the way they lather, and I like that they have a great deal of slickness. They are very slick soaps. Some of the most slick soaps I've been able to use, I must say. water on All right. Uh, two weeks, two weeks, September 17th, today's August 31st, so 18 days from today, Nashville, Tennessee, the second annual Dirty South Shavers meet up this year is in Nashville. For uh, more information about the meetup, go to the Facebook group, Dirty South Shavers. I'm sure there'll be a pinned post providing you with information about the meetup, place and time.
three days and two hours. Three days and two hours. And eight minutes till the Alabama USC game kicks off. Those of you who are new to this channel and are fans of college football, I'll just say this. If you can't handle it, quit watching. Because it's big, fix and get ugly. Outbound fit a whoop up the cat, a whoop ass on USC. I don't even, nobody even knows who the quarterback is going to be for Alabama. No matter. We don't need a quarterback. Anybody can stand behind the dude and let him snap the ball and turn around and hand it to a running back and watch him run through a field of USC football players. So, that's it. Hey, you know what? I just had a wonderful shave. And I didn't cut myself this time. Not even any, no even, no weepers. Not even a weeper, damn. What's wrong with that? Maybe I need to do another pass just so I can get a weeper or two. All right. Salute. Cold rinse. Yes, sir, I'm gonna call that BBS. I'm gonna call that BBS. Put my album block. Here it goes. Steve, why do you use the Allen block? Well, first of all, usually there's about five or six little spots of blood. One of these days I'm gonna break it. Usually I got four or five little dots of blood, weepers on my face. And this helps close those up. All right, cold water is to even further close up those pores or those uh, whatever they are. The dude on Josh, Josh is his name, bald and beardless. He calls them capillaries. You have a face full of capillaries. He says they close and, and, and all that bullshit, whatever, and drinking. Something wrong with that beard. Got a hole in the bottom of it. All right. Now, we're gonna use Wim, uh, Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel. And, well, why do you use Witch Hazel and Alum. The more the merrier, right? Witch Hazel has a, I don't know, but it, it, it keeps your face from breaking out, I know that. If you got an acne problem, you can use Witch Hazel on your face and it will, 
it will help a lot. Um, I know I know my kids, after I started wet shaving, my daughters, when they had an acne breakout, I'd give them my witch hazel and, and, and they were cleared up within a day or two or three. So, there we go. And, um, oh dear, here it is. The matching aftershave is fine platinum. And this is one of my favorite, favorite scented aftershaves. I love it. A great deal. A little bit of menthol and a whole lot of awesome. This right here is awesome sauce in a bottle. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you had a good rest of your week. Uh, don't take no wooden nickels. Bob Bowie to you all and have a lovely evening. Cheers.